Hello and welcome to a very dark, dank, dreary UK. Um, today I am answering one question that I get asked more than any other and that is what paint do I use to paint my paintings? So I thought instead of writing an answer every time on uh, Tumblr or Facebook or Twitter or the rest, I would do a little video. So here we are, we're in one of my studios and we have here the wall of paint. This is 90% of the paint I use. I have a few more pots here and there, um, but hopefully um, you'll get an idea. I think there's one important lesson with painting that I believe, is that it's not the paint you use, it's not the uh, surface you're painting on, it's not the brush you use, it's how good you are. It's the talent. Um, somebody can paint just as well with some Crayola crayons than they can with the most expensive oil paints. So. Don't worry, if you can't afford the best, you don't need the best, and I certainly do not use the best. I use acrylic paint, uh, thick, various different thicknesses of acrylic paint, uh, ink, and then household paints, uh, emulsion, uh, silk, satin, gloss. So, let's have a look at the, the wall. Here, you can see everything nearly on here is in jars, and I'll explain why. First, we'll start off up here. This will be what you're most used to seeing. Acrylic paint. Acrylic paint you get in tubes. Uh, here I've got various makes that I use. Galleria, which is Windsor & Newton. Uh, System 3. I'm sure there's other makes in here, but they're the two main ones you see in every art shop um, in, in Britain are Windsor & Newton and System 3. If I had to pick between the two, I would say go for the Windsor & Newton. It's cheaper, um, and I prefer it. Uh, the reason I prefer it is it's less glossy than the System 3. System 3 can be a bit glossy. So, you can buy these tubes. These tubes are what most of you will buy in art kits. The problem with these tubes is there's bugger all in them and I get through, if I paint one paint, I'll probably get through four or five tubs, so it gets expensive. So, only buy these little tubes if you're doing full paintings or you're, um, uh, you know, you, you don't use as much colour. So, I, I, you, it's good to have colours uh, that you don't use very much, so here we go, like a bone colour, don't use that too much. Um, some of the luminous stuff. Uh, these tubes are quite expensive, you know, probably about £4 each. That one there, £3.25, and that was bought a long time ago. So this is not a cost-effective way of painting, because acrylic paint is quite expensive, especially like this. Uh, if you're in England, places I recommend you buy it from is, is the range, or online, is much cheaper. So, that's the acrylic in tube. Ugh. Then I use acrylic paint in um, tubs. So we've got, again, the Windsor & Newton ones. We've got a bit more over here. These big tubs, which work out more cost effects. So Mars Black in acrylic, more acrylic, more acrylic. Um, there is also, if you can find this stuff, it's not bad, uh, Chroma, Chroma Crawl, Chroma, Chroma Crawl. It's a um, student acrylic paint, much cheaper. Not the easiest you can find, but if you can find it, it's, it's good stuff. Um, what other makes in here? We've got System 3, acrylic paint. Most of acrylic paint is okay. Uh, the only one I would really avoid is Reeves acrylic paint. Reeves acrylic paint is so glossy, it's nearly like using gloss paint. Uh, don't use Reeves, use Windsor & Newton System 3. Then, everything else you see here is mixes. I mix paint all the time. The best way to mix stuff is mix it and put it in a jar. So this is just a, um, a spaghetti sauce jar. Um, Mix it, keep it in a jar, that way you will always have the colour uh, for touching up painters for doing other paintings. Some of these are um, emulsion. So here you go, this is an emulsion, uh, Dulux. I use lots of emulsion because they have one advantage over acrylic, and that is that they have a massive colour range. The biggest problem with acrylic is it's a small colour range. Yes, you can mix, and yes, you can make up pots of colour like up here. So that's a, you know, a light blue which I mixed out of acrylic. The cool colour, so this here is a, um, it's a very bright orange, uh, which is a acrylic, uh, um, uh, emulsion, sorry, so an emulsion bright orange, really good stuff. Um, but the only thing I will say about it is if you're going to buy and use emulsion, buy the better brand emulsion, buy the Dulux, avoid the um, the, uh, the own brand stuff, the, the B&Q stuff, particularly is really shit, um, and the home based stuff is okay, but buy the better brand. Um, so this is all mixes. Some of these are, um, so that one there, that's a purple and a purple emulsion. Um, we've got greens, we've got 
here, this is an eggshell. So an eggshell is a different finish and paint, I forgot to mention that. So that gives you a slight different finish. Uh, we've got glosses, gloss paints. Uh, where's the glosses? Can't find any glosses. So I use a lot of gloss paint as well. You get that nice glossy effect. Uh, that's a household paint. Um, the only thing I'll give you a tip on that, if you're gonna make gloss, don't put gloss in a glass jar. Keep it in um, a tin because when gloss dries, you can't get it open. I got a pot out of what I use here. So this is silk. Silk B&Q colors. Um, this is not B&Q's value you make. This is okay, but B&Q's value stuff, stuff you wanna avoid. Silk is in between emulsion and uh, gloss. It's a quite a, quite a uh, slick finish. You see this used a lot on that shabby chic furniture. Great paint, cheap. This whole tub, 10 quid. So that whole tub, 10 quid. That whole tub, 12 quid. So there's a big difference. Um, really nice finish, really nice finish. I really like using that stuff, but it doesn't lend itself to everything. Inks, inks, where's the inks? I use inks for getting drip finishes, uh, for getting a nice glossy finish if you want it. Um, I can't find any ink, where's the ink gone? Oh, here's one, okay. So this here is a bottle of Indian ink, uh, they call it. Uh, this is mainly used for um, writing and drawing with those dip pens. Uh, but Indian ink's great. If you can get this, just get a top of it, pretty cheap. Uh, cheaper than buying the little tubs. Um, also, the Warhammer or Citadel Games Workshop, their ink they, they sell is very good. I recommend that. Tester pots. Why not? Little tester pots, white like chiffon. It's always worth trying it. So you, if you, you want to pay a pain, these like a quid. Or do what I do go to um, car boot sales and um, uh, or garage sales in America. Uh, and there's a thing called Free Cycle, which they do in England, where you can get massive loads of paint for free. So, great stuff. Mixing colours, maybe I'll do a quick tip on mixing colours. I use, e uh, what are they called? Palettes. I use palettes to mix, um, plates to mix, little mixing tubs, uh, sort of this very school stuff. This actually came from a school, came from a school clearance where they're selling off a load of stuff. Um, more palettes. Uh, if you're using a colour you're only going to use a bit, mix on a palette. Uh, if you're going to mix the colour you're going to use a bit and you may want to come back to it, I use these. Little cinnamon tubs, uh, little, sorry, herbs and spice tubs. Clean them out. Yeah, it smells cinnamony, but that doesn't matter. So to round it off, I honestly believe you use whatever medium suits you. If you like working in acrylic, work in acrylic. If you like working in household paints, work in household paints. If you like working in watercolours, oils, etc. It really isn't what you use, it is what you do with it. Um, if you just find something that you like, do it. Try every medium, try every way of applying medium. Use brushes, use your hands, use palette knives. Try whatever, and in the end you will get it. Um, so, from me, Stephen Quick, the artist, the uh, person who's been rabbiting on, uh, this is my wall of paint. I hope in some way it may have helped you see that um, it doesn't matter what you use, as long as it looks nice. Um, join Facebook, of course. Uh, follow me at Splinter Lennon on Twitter. Um, subscribe to me on YouTube up there. And uh, visit my website at splinterstudios.com where you can see all my work. And I um, hope this video helps. Uh, I'll do some more soon. Goodbye, au revoir. See you around. Bye bye.